In this video, we'll be predicting the products for this single replacement reaction. So it will conform to one of our three templates. Let's examine our reactants. We have chlorine plus potassium iodide. Potassium is of course a metal, but chlorine and iodine are both halogens. So we have two halogens. So it really doesn't fit template A very well because that states a more active metal will replace a less active metal. We certainly don't have two metals. Now for a moment, you may think that it's like template B because template B has potassium. But if you read it, it reads that potassium will replace hydrogen from water. We really don't have water up here at all. So by default, it's going to be similar to template C, but we should probably read that um, just to make certain. A more active halogen will replace a less active halogen from solution. So let's check our activity series. Let's look up our two halogens. There's chlorine and iodine. Remember that fluorine is the most active nonmetal, and iodine is the least active nonmetal. So in this case, fluorine is more reactive than iodine. And think back to the cartoon. The thing that's by itself, in this case chlorine, will be bumping out um, the thing that's in the compound or the thing that's in the relationship. So let's read this one more time. A more active halogen will replace a what? A less active halogen. From where? From solution. So chlorine is going to replace iodine. Oftentimes students will try to take chlorine and have that take the place of potassium, but that's not correct. What we have is chlorine replacing another halogen. So instead of potassium iodide, we'll have potassium chloride. And the iodide will precipitate out of the solution probably as solid iodine. So let's write the formulas for that. Now for single replacement reactions, it's important that we understand the phase notation. So you know just through, I don't know, experience that chlorine is a gas. And our template states that the compound is going to be in solution. So we should write aqueous, meaning that potassium iodide is in solution. Now this compound will be in solution, and the iodine will come out of the solution, and iodine usually exists as a solid. And lastly, of course, we'll balance the reaction. We have two chlorines on the left, so let's make two chlorines on the right. That made two potassiums on the right, so let's make two potassiums on the left. And this reaction is complete. So let's take a look at one more single replacement reaction. Now which template does it most resemble? We have zinc plus calcium sulfate. Zinc and calcium, those are both metals. So it's going to be most similar to example A. So let's check our activity series. Is zinc more reactive than calcium? Well, here's zinc, and there's calcium. So zinc is not more reactive than calcium. So if you put zinc in the same beaker as a solution of cal calcium sulfate, nothing will happen. Zinc will not replace calcium. There will be no reaction.